Hi folks, Will at LR Workshop. Uh, I thought I'd come back to see how the factory put these BNC posts into defenders. Uh, I had to come away and look and uh, do some research because I got a bit stuck. So um, I'll go through these images with you now so you can see how the factory did it. It uh, might be quite interesting. Uh, I certainly found it interesting um, looking at factory, factory photos and seeing how they pieced these beasts together. Right, so here we can see uh, in the paint shop. Uh, first of all, I want to point out, look at that lovely steel and aluminium stuck right next to each other. That's going to turn out well. Uh, anyway, so we look at the tub here. No drilling holes down here, but there are drill holes here on the C post. These drill holes are here. No drill holes here and no drill holes down here on the C post. Uh, same again, different view. We can see the drill holes here, but not here. And then from the other side, maybe a bit easier to see here, drill, drill hole, and then one up there, nothing down here, two holes. None down the side here. Right, moving on to the factory production line, so we can get our bearings. So we can see here there's a bulkhead on the vehicle, and then it moves to the next line, and the tub comes down. There's no BC posts then there are BC posts. So tub goes on first, bulkhead goes on first, then the tub, then the BC posts. Actually, we can see them all waiting over here. They uh, have got the uh, door strikers already fitted. There we go. Before it carries on further down, and then eventually the roof goes on down there. This guy's having a whale of a time. So we can see the tub coming down here. This is a station wagon, an adventure station wagon, no less. And we've got the tow panel on. There's the bulkhead. And then the tub's getting fitted at this moment. And if we look up here closely, drill hole, drill hole, no drill holes, no drill holes. And this is the moment when the B posts get fitted because we know that it's, we know that it's this stage exactly because it's happening on one side but not on, not on the other. Um, this is the reason why they don't fit the seat box and this is the problems I had because when you're fitting it the B post gets clamped either side by the tow panel this side the, the seat box on this side and you need it so that you can or you need the seat box removed in this case so they can move the B post back to slot the C post up in here and then bring the, a, uh, the, the sill up to the A post here um, this was one of the sticking points which meant I had to lift the roof off um, so she's pushing that in there, but she's probably been able to maneuver it up and in and then just move that across to the tow panel here. Uh, and then we can see on here, still no drillings. No drillings on here. No brackets fitted over here. No drillings down here. And there is, hanging on there, that is the stud plate that's going to get fitted into the back of here. So they've got these little optimizations that you can see going on where, you know, earlier parts of the production line will do little things to help out later parts of the production line. At this moment, we've got both the B posts fitted. And what's interesting about this is then they're starting to put these bolts into here to go into the mid cross member, presumably the front. And there's a clamp. So they've clamped the C post to the tub. And I suspect this is the moment. We've got another one on there. I suspect this is the moment where they're going to be drilling. This is a rivet gun, I think. So this is probably the moment where they drill through from the outside and then use the rivet gun to rivet on. This guy's fitting the nuts on the stud plate at the front interesting here i don't that looks galvanized doesn't it doesn't look like it's painted it's interesting and then once we've got the b and c post fully fitted now we can see they've been drilled in fitted to the tub this bit hasn't been fitted yet seat box has gone in also and the roof is coming down so we've aligned this together before the roof comes on and they've put this on, put the seat belts on, seat box has gone in, they've done the floor. So this is all pretty much bolted in exactly by the time the seat box and the floor and the rear floor and everything else has gone in. Once the roof's on, this guy then comes in. What I presume he's doing, and this is on the Puma, they're putting this bracket that fits down in here 
which kind of braces the B post and the tub together. On early vehicles for the seatbelt mountain, it was two kind of plates like you've seen on mine, which was adjustable. And this one seems to be a bit more f with a fixed dimensions. Um, doesn't seem to be much adjustability as part of that, but he's fitting these in here. And then we can see at, by this point, these guys are working on the roof, the headlining, well, the headlines fit into the roof, but they're fitting the trim. And then we've had the panels go in. So these panels have now been fitted and these have been drilled through and fitted here. The seals have gone on, door seals, etc. So that is the last photo I have to show you. So that was really what I used for reference for after I fitted the left hand side, BC post on my Defender. Um, this is kind of what I used for reference to try and get some insight into what the hell was going on with the problems I had. Um, and I kind of used this to my knowledge when fitting on the right hand side. Anyway, that was just a short video. Hope it was interesting to you. It's always interesting to go back to factory images to see how these, uh, how these vehicles are put together and try and gain some insight to uh, certainly the stuff that we have to deal with when we've got a fully, fully complete vehicle and trying to work, you know, do DI work on it, DIY work on it. It's not the same as, you know, on the, the production line, you know, this thing's jacked up. He's got a tiny little chair on there to get underneath. You know, we don't really want to have to dismantle the vehicle to do some of these jobs. So uh, it can be a bit more involved than the optimal process of doing it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.